the other day, I decided to go out and catch bait before I went bass fishing. Now I decided to go live baiting, um, no weights, swivels, anything like that, just basically a line and hook. And we popped off out, got some horse mackerel. We didn't do too well with mackerel because they were just too big, a lot of the mackerel we did get. Then we went up to a mark and we fished for bass. And that is what you're about to see. Right, we've arrived near the fish mark. I've got some smaller lures on today. We'll try and catch smaller, smaller um, horse mackerel, hopefully. Maybe uh, mackerel as well. Even some sandals would be nice. We'll see. I might have to go a bit deeper yet, because they tend to be a little deeper. This is disgusting. This feels like mackerel. I do need some mackerel as well. I need uh, 20. No, 23. Exactly 23 I need. Ah, that one came off. It's all right. Gotta be careful that I don't put too many in, so I'm gonna have to start deciding which ones to keep and which not now, because I only want to keep four or five in a box, because I don't have an air rating with me. So, um, I, mean, I could use the big box, I suppose, fill that with water. That's a lot of water. That's a bit of So we've got our bait hooked up. We've got our horse mackerel, the size 10 0. We've got some sand eel, I've got some mackerel as well, so I'm going to give it a go with this one. We can literally three lining it, get the line out, let it swim around. Hopefully, it'll swim around. Yeah, there it goes. And we'll be coming over the mark shortly. We're not there yet, but we're going to drift that way. game. How long are we going to wait? Who knows. Not too long I hope. Annoyingly the boat is spinning. It's always an annoyance when you're free lining.
Something's taking the oars awesome mackerel. It's not that big, I don't think, but it's still a fish. fish at all. And that took a whole horse, horse mackerel that one. Five and a half, maybe six. Free lining. Live horse mackerel. And mackerel works. Right, this will do. We got our horse mackerel. Now you might think quite a big bait, but I've seen four pound bass take a bigger mackerel than that. So doesn't mean we need we are going to need a big fish, but then that's what we're after, really. <laughs> Pull it up out of the bottom because I think it was trying to go through the weed. Checking to see if the camera is on. Size of the bass that took that horse macro. That's the bass right there, and there's the horse mackerel on the line. See, bass probably three pounds. And the horse mackerel. Bigger one on. Bigger horse mackerel, bigger fish. That's the theory anyway. So, I've just been drifting around. I just had a horse mackerel out again. A full-size horse mackerel. Like a big one that I've kept. Uh, 
know if I can show you any here. Yeah, that size in there, which is pretty big. You know, it's not a small horse macker. And uh, yeah, just drifting around. And this took it. And the reason I wanted to show you, because if we get the fish out, this fish is about six to seven pounds, I'd say. But if you look down in there, you might be able to see my fingers, but you'll see that they actually swallowed the whole fish. It's gone. And that's a full size mackerel, uh, horse mackerel. And that shows they're not afraid to take huge baits. So, big baits, that's what you want.